So Alex, how were cataracts diagnosed? How do you first find out about them? You, if you think you might have cataracts, then the first thing you do is go and see an optician and they will tell you if you had cataracts or not. And if the cataracts were getting worse, they would refer you on to an eye surgeon, an ophthalmologist, to discuss surgery. Can cataracts be prevented? No, once they start to develop, they tend to start to develop and there's nothing in lifestyle that can prevent it or slow it down. People say that cataracts can be called by, caused by ultraviolet light, although the, it's not clear that that's strictly true, even though it would make common sense for them to be called by ultraviolet light. So wearing sunglasses can protect the cornea from diseases. It can affect the skin around the eye from ultraviolet light and sun-induced age-rated changes and other changes. Uh, but how much it can protect against cataracts is uncertain. Most articles that you read and most people will say that ultraviolet light and sunlight causes cataract, but scientifically it still has yet to be proven. Alex, with when it comes to cataract surgery, um, what are the risks and complications? Well, cataract surgery is the commonest operation in the NHS worldwide. It's the commonest operation. And the statistics are very good in that risks are fortunately rare. But the risks from the surgery going wrong, um, such as breaking the posterior capsule, the lens capsule, which can happen in about one to two percent of cases. Uh, these can be this can be treated at the time of surgery, and a lens can still be implanted. But there are other more common complications that can happen with cataract surgery. Even when it's gone perfectly well, it can upset the tear film at the front of the eye. And when it upsets the tear film at the front of the eye, people can say that. Uh, the cataract all went perfectly well, the cataract surgery itself has been perfectly fine, but they are, their lives have been made in absolute misery. And these are very small minority of people after cataract surgery that have the tear film disturbed, um, but their lives can be made in absolute misery because the tear film is no longer bathing, soothing, and healing the cornea. It's making the cornea and the eye, therefore, painful, light-sensitive, stinging, and burning. And the only relief these people can get is to close the eye, because by closing the eyes, it's the most natural, best, bandage to protect the cornea and that they can't carry on with their lives or go out to work and see people and carry on the lives so they're having to close their eyes all the time because their eyes are stinging and burning and it can become very upsetting and can take over their lives. But fortunately that's a very rare complication. How long does it take to recover from cataract surgery? Routinely, we recommend a week off work. If you're self-employed, you'll be back at work the following day or the day after. You have drops for a month. Uh, if people need to update their glasses after cataract surgery, the opticians won't want to prescribe new glasses whilst people are still taking the post-operative drops that can last for four, five, six weeks. Um, but really, it settles down within a, a couple of days in most cases. Very rarely the cornea can become hazy after cataract surgery and that can make it take a little longer to settle down, but that's in two, one to two percent of patient, patients after routine cataract surgery. So really on the whole, after good, safe, normal cataract surgery, recovery is a couple of days. Uh, can cataracts come back after surgery? No, once the lens has been removed, it's gone. But when we take out cataracts, so if the cataract was to be like a great big EDAM cheese and it's red waxy coat, we take out a disc of red wax that gives a porthole which gives access to the cheese, which is the cataract. We remove all that with a high frequency ultrasound, leaving behind the empty red waxy shell. 
The new lens gets rolled up and opens up like a flower inside that red waxy coat that then shrink wraps around and holds it in place forever more. There are lens epithelial cells that's lining the inside of that front part of the capsule that are uh, the lads with as cells will do, they will divide and become a family and a regiment and an army and a population that marches across the red capsule and start to create posterior capsular thickening. And sometimes people call that an after cataract or a secondary cataract. It's just the thickening up of the posterior capsule, so we call it posterior capsule thickening. Very easily treated with a YAG laser, Y-A-G, yttrium argon garnet it stands for. A YAG laser that creates little perforations in that capsule at the back to remove the the floor for these cells and then you never need to have that laser done again.